So just a quick update on my NAG52 gearbox controller project. So I have been spending the day, the day probing the stock controller which comes with the gearbox. Ignore my test PCB, PCB, I was just using that for a pin reference so I know what to connect to. Anyway up on here I've got my normal gearbox display on my head unit but all these wires up here run to my oscilloscope where I currently have modulating pressure labelled in purple, shift pressure which is labelled in yellow and blue is the Y3 shift solenoid which is responsible for 1 to 2 and 2 to 1 gear shift as well as 4 to 5 and 5 to 4. But anyway I've offset them all slightly so that I can make out each individual line and I've just been spending the day to day probing all the solenoids having a look at um, how they operate when I move this gear lever down here and also depending on what the car's doing like changing gears or whatnot. So as an example, I'm currently in comfort. If I go to reverse, you, know, you can see the solenoids are working. Neutral, drive, and then if I flick it to go back to, to D1 now by pressing the down paddle, there you go, you can see that's how it changes gears. And then I can flick it back up again by pressing the plus paddle to go back into second gear. I'll go back into park to, for now. But yeah, this is what I've been doing today, and I've been pretty much just probing all the solenoids on the transmission, and I've kind of got a good idea now as to how they work, all the PWM signals I need to send the correct frequency, which is 1 kilohertz for all of the solenoids on the gearbox. Uh, they all operate at 1 kilohertz on this. Um, and yeah, that's what I suppose in the next stream, once I've got my final PCB assembled. I know I keep saying it's the final PCB, and then I break something on stream, sorry about that but I am fully aware that this will be the last one that I have assembled, that I will be assembling this week. I'll do it off air since I'm using hot air this time, and we shall just go straight to the coding, and I'll be using these oscilloscope measurements as a reference to see how the gearbox performs, and it should behave similarly in these situations. But yeah, that's just a quick update for you guys for what I've been up to this weekend. Uh, hope you all have a good weekend, and see you all sometime soon. Shift pressure, modulating pressure, 1 to 2, 4 to 5 shift solenoid. We're in park right now. Reverse 2. Neutral. Drive 2. Down shift to drive 1. Up shift to drive 2. Rev the engine a bit. Neutral, reverse two, park. Modulating pressure, shift pressure, Y3. Ignition on, crank and start.